Oh, I think we, uh, I think parenting gives us a wonderful opportunity to teach our children to do that. And uh, I, as a single parent for 20 years, I actually developed a way of parenting. I called it uh, conscious parenting back in the 70s. Uh, that, uh, that teaches children this. And I'm actually seeing the results. I have a 50-year-old daughter, a 42-year-old son, a 32-year-old daughter, and five grandchildren. And I'm watching the effects of them having learned this early on go down into those grandparent, uh, grandchildren generation, into that generation. Oh, so that's, you have it's, it's not perfect, but you know, my son, for example, he has an 11 and 14 year old daughter. Two, he has two daughters. And he teaches them, okay, so, you know, what are you learning from here? You see this learning, would you like to learn it or do you want to continue suffering? And I have traveled with each of the girls. I had them for two weeks in my RV. And uh, we had fabulous conversations. The younger one calls me when she's having problems and going, okay, Grammy. Give me some advice on this, right? Yes. So she's, she's getting it already, and by the time she gets to be an adult, and I saw this with my adult children also, uh, there are a lot of things she's not going to have to suffer through. Let me just put a little parenthesis in here. Now, recently, I've been talking with a lot of people who are concerned that uh, so many young people, and I mean probably from 25 and under, uh, do not know how to deal effectively with their life and the reason why is they've been protected by parents and grandparents and uh, whatever, they've been protected. They haven't been allowed to have the consequences of their own choices and actions and the parents make very often will make decisions for the children rather than let the children make decisions and they're not directing children, you made this decision do you know why you made that decision? Are you okay with it? Would you like to make another decision? And uh, okay, let me support you in making another decision. Uh, and this is part of the learning process that I take my children and grandchildren through to help them stay aware of the fact that they are souls visiting this earth and they have things to learn and they're being prepared in their childhood to live their lives. And as parents and grandparents, we need not to protect them from real life. Because otherwise, they are going to suffer 50 times over when they get to be adults and we die or they live separately from us or whatever the net result is, we're not around them. Right? So childhood is the time when we can equip children with the tools that they need to handle life. And one of the most effective tools that anybody can teach is how to deal with the emotions that arise in every situation.